What's up guys, it's Finn Aiden here with my first actual haul video. Uh, what you can see on the screen right now is everything I've picked up over the last like about three, two, three weeks or so. I was inspired to do this by uh, a friend of mine, Gil from Black Hole Comics. Uh, I'll put his YouTube channel in the link, the link to his YouTube channel below. But yeah, I picked up a good amount of toys these last couple weeks, and why don't we just get into what they are. First, I just got this guy the other day is um, my second first order stormtrooper I it was like 12 bucks on Amazon so I picked up another one I wanna get a few more of these for some shots on my Instagram link will be down in the description below but yeah it's a, I think he's a really good figure I really enjoy him not as good as the SHF one but alas I do not have that kind of funds to be able just to purchase a couple of those so Black Series is my best but Next up, I have the I got the Marvel Legends Machine Man on eBay. Let me adjust my lights really quick. I got him on eBay for about six, no, five bucks, brand new from Hasbro Toy Shop. I actually really like this guy. I mean, it's the Bucky Cat mold again, but I really love the accessory of his arms, the bendy wire. I've gotten some pretty sweet shots with him in it. Actually, a really good figure, and definitely, I don't think, worth the $20 retail, but for 5 bucks, I could not pass this guy up. Next up, Walgreens Marvel Legends Punisher exclusive. This guy is actually really cool. Uh, I was really excited for the other head, the normal Frank Castle head without the bandana, or whatever you call it, headband. But it just came out looking a little wonky, a little weird to me. So this guy's head is just a little bit better, but it's not the Punisher head I would like to use. I want the Epic Heroes Punisher head, but again, I don't have that figure, so I can't. But the I actually really ended up liking this figure. I think the bazooka he came with is really sweet. I've used that in a couple different shots. The paint's really solid. Overall, a, overall, a really good Marvel Legend. Next up, again on eBay from Hasbro Toy Shop, is the Marvel Legends Hawkeye. Got this guy for $7, brand new, shipped. A pretty good figure. I mean, not exactly the Hawkeye figure I would want. I don't really care for this metal arm, the Reese of the Winter Soldier. But, not a bad figure, honestly. Like, he's pretty decent. Definitely worth the $7. Next guy, I got this guy from my local comic shop, along with the Wolverine back there. I got this guy for about four or five bucks, I can't really remember, the McFarland Hobgoblin. He's actually really nice, I really like this figure. It's a repaint or the, the Green Goblin from the, what do you call it, the Sinister Six box set I think. I have that guy, but he might be a remake, a repaint of this dude. I don't really know, but the cape looks really nice, the mm, hood is really good, the face underneath is really sharp looking, I really dig it. Like I said, the paint, it looks just really nice on this guy. Definitely a favorite goblin of mine. This guy is pretty awesome. It's the NECA, about six, seven, eight inch uh, alien xenomorph figure. Really good figure. I, I've had a lot of fun with this guy doing some like creepy shots. I think he's great for the $20 price point. My first NECA figure actually, so I'm pretty excited about this guy. He's definitely an awesome addition to the collection. Over here I have the Marvel Select Carnage, and when I first got the Marvel Legends Carnage a couple years ago, I thought that that was like the definitive Carnage figure, that that was pretty much the last Carnage figure I'd buy, like that was all I needed, you know what I mean, it was a very good figure, and this this figure blows that figure out of the water, this figure is so amazing, it's, I, I can't believe for a Diamond Select figure it has this much articulation, I mean I'm used to the paint apps, but this much articulation with the paint apps, with the interchangeable head, with the with all the tendrils and stuff, interchangeable hands, like this figure is well worth the $25 on Amazon. I got this guy from a seller on eBay. I wanted the, I want the new Iron Fist figure from Hasbro, but this guy I'll have to do till then. I've always wanted this figure. Finally picked him up for about eight bucks on eBay. Really great figure. I love the, um, I love the head sculpt. I love the uh, articulated fingers, well hands. I think everything about it's great. The sculpt is very good. A lot of people give a crap for having these huge shoulders. I actually kind of like them. I don't really have a problem with them. I think they look really good. Definitely worth the $8 I got it for. Really nice figure. 
Here is the second figure I got from my comic shop with the McFarland Hobgoblin is the Astonishing X-Men Wolverine. Really solid figure. Not my favorite Wolverine figure out of the two that I have. It's my favorite. It's definitely the newest Hasbro Wolverine figure of this guy. But this guy's actually a pretty solid figure. I always wanted the, I think it's Series 6 Wolverine, but this guy will be a great placeholder until I get that guy. Really solid figure. I actually really like him. Paint and articulation are really nice on this guy. Next up, I got for about $15 on eBay, the Craven Marvel Legend from Hasbro came out last year. Really nice figure. Paint and, uh, I actually just filmed a review for this guy. Paint and articulation are fantastic. I really want to get to building the Rhino figure, so right now I have Craven, the Scarlet Spider, and what, what's the other Rhino figure? Oh, in the Chameleon, I have, so I have Scarlet Spider, I have uh, Craven, and then the Chameleon, so I'm about halfway there. I want to pick up Misty Knight, but I can't find Ghost Rider and Superior Venom anywhere, so if anybody has the Ghost Rider Superior Venom pieces that they don't want or anything, I'd gladly take them off my hand, off your hands for me, that'd be great. Uh, but this figure is fantastic, I love the even attention to detail on the spear, really solid figure, they are, the uh, paint on the lion on his legs just overall an amazing figure for Hasbro for 20 bucks like this figure can't do much better for Hasbro honestly lastly I just picked this guy up last this weekend the for Force Friday I got the Black Series K2SO figure and oh, I love this dude I have maybe about 15 16 more black uh, no I don't have that many maybe about like 15 Black Series figures this guy is probably my favorite, honestly. Just I love the way his eyes came out looking with the white. The sculpt is fantastic. The paint is fantastic. Articulation is fantastic. Everything about this guy is just amazing. I'm so excited to see him in Rogue One. I think that movie's going to be great, especially with the director and the actors behind it. Writing looks great. I mean, everything about that movie looks great. Just like this figure. Fantastic addition. Only thing I really don't like is how... They have like sculpted toe articulation, you can't really see with the lights. They have sculpted toe articulation on there. Okay, well, you can kind of see it. They have it sculpted there, but they don't even have the hinge. They don't even give you toe articulation even though they have it sculpted. What the heck, Hasbro? What the heck is that all about? That's literally my only gripe about this guy. Everything else is beautiful. Definitely one of my favorite Black Series in my collection. Thanks for sticking with me through this haul video, guys. I promise there will be more to come. I have the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle for all four of the colored headband turtles on their way. I have an extra Donatello that I got for a really cheap price on its way, too. So I'll have a new haul video coming probably in the next week or two. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Stay.